What's up, Philly Faithful? If you're new here, make sure you hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button, and turn on those post notifications. That way you step today with all these Eagles recap videos. This week we're headed down to Miami to take on the Dolphins. Everybody's feeling good. No uh, real locker room stuff getting out this week. It's a pretty quiet week. And I think everybody's kind of feeling good. Got a cake schedule the rest of the way. Going down to South Beach, gonna party, get a win. All right, let's get into the game. Start off on defense. All right, we start off with a bang. First play, Fitzgerald throws a pass. Darby gets the interception. Last season with the Bucks. First and 10, 25 yard line. And Fitzpatrick's first pass is picked off by Ronald Darby. Uh, I really thought the defense uh, came out looking good. Uh, the next couple drives, uh, Sweat and Barnett uh, were coming away with sacks. Sliding down. Fitzpatrick is taken down on third down. Pressure was good from the defense, so I, I was I was really feeling feeling the defense at first. Then Devontae Parker gets a big catch over Ronald Darby. In the backfield, Fitzpatrick on fourth down, and this pass is caught. Parker. Darby has had good coverage on it. Parker just went up and got the ball and scored a touchdown. Not long after, it's another big catch over Darby. So the second half's winding down. They get the ball. They're down in the red zone. You know, we're holding on. We're holding strong. And we get a pass interference call, right? So they reset the downs. First and goal. Defense is holding on strong. And then the trick play happens. The punter takes the snap. And then the toss. Look, guys, this is the third straight week we've been beat on a trick play. This is embarrassing, man. Just absolutely embarrassing. I don't really have anything defensively to take away from the second half. It was all bad. Just terrible, terrible outing today uh, from the from the Eagles squad. It was it was terrible, man. I'm over it. Let's just move on to the offense. Guys, offense wasn't much better today either. Wentz was 28 for 46, three touchdowns, not a bad stat line, but I still feel like he's underthrowing the ball, he's overthrowing the ball, there's miscommunications between him and the receivers, and it's just ugly, man. Some of that stuff out there just looked ugly. For him to be in his fourth year uh, leading this team, some of that stuff shouldn't be happening. For all the criticism that Alshon and Nelly have received this uh, this year, and rightfully so, I thought both of them played pretty decent today. Alshon had nine receptions for 137 yards and a touchdown, fighting for extra yards. I like to see that. They got a plan. They're executing it right now. Third down and five. As Wentz sets and throws, it's caught, and then taking it for the touchdown, Alshon Jeffrey. Um, Nelly was going after the ball, getting it. Um, he was fighting for yards. I like to see that. So those, those guys played pretty decent today and did what I guess I would expect them to do. Catch the balls that are thrown their way, fight for yards. And like I said, Alshon walked away nine for 137 with one touchdown. So can't really expect more than that out of him. He, he played decent. Zach Ertz dropping key passes, something that he doesn't really do that much. But today when we needed those passes caught, he was dropping them one even in the end zone. Offense was just inconsistent overall. The play calling was atrocious. We were five for 12 for third downs. Third down conversions were five of 12, under 500, just like this terrible team. We're, oh, because we were five for 12 on third down conversions. That's terrible. It's absolutely atrocious. All right, guys, I don't, I don't, there's not really anything to say about this game. We've been saying it for the past three weeks. I, you know, just when I think we came off our worst game, we turn around and have another one. This was the two and nine Dolphins, and we got out there and just got spanked. Let's get into my final thoughts. Guys, today the penalties killed us. We had 10 penalties, 91 yards. It was it was on both sides of the ball. It was just egregious. The Miami scored 37 points, the most points they've scored on a team all season long, and it's against us. Are you kidding me? Ugh. Guys, I, I, I'm, 
I'm over Doug Peterson calling our offensive plays. I'm over that whole entire staff. I'm just, I'm, I'm over it. I'm so looking forward to getting to the off season and making some changes, changes that need to be made. And I've been saying this for weeks now too. We got to get rid of the staff. Like there's some bad pieces in that puzzle. There's players we need to get rid of. We just got to, we need to make moves, real moves. Like I can't get excited for the rest of the season. I can't, I'm not excited to get out of bed and, and go face the New York Giants and the Washington Redskins. Like, come on, man. Like, what, what do we have the rest of the season? This is not a playoff worthy team. I don't want to see this team in the playoffs if they somehow squeak in there because Dallas screws it up. No, this team is not ready for the playoffs. This team doesn't deserve the playoffs. But guys, the NFL is the business of winning football games and we're not winning football games. You gotta make some changes. You gotta take the emotion and the business and separate them. You gotta separate the emotion and the business. Take the emotion out of it, make some business decisions. We have to do something different. This team is pathetic. Five and seven, two years off the of Super Bowl. Like, we need somebody that can make some decisions for this football team. It's just bad, it's just all bad. I'm ready to throw the whole season away. I'm tired of it, I'm done with it. There's nothing to look forward to uh, the rest of the year. Like I said, I'm looking forward to the off season. I'm, I'm looking forward to the draft. I'm looking forward to making those off season moves because there's nothing left in this season that excites me, that gets me up, that gets me motivated. Like what, to beat the Giants and beat the Redskins? Maybe beat the Cowboys that are a trash team too? Just tired of it, I'm, I'm done. Tired of it, tired man, tired. All right, guys, as always, we can continue the conversation. You can do that by commenting below. And until next week, guys, fly goes fly. Peace.